One of the great things about SMS is how personal it is. Normally when people get an SMS, they believe it's coming from a human. And you don't want to shatter that illusion by sending them multiple SMSs that have the same content. In this video, I show you how to filter leads and contacts that have already received a particular SMS campaign from you. The way to do that is by using the campaigns filter, which is available in the leads and contacts module. What you're going to do is first find the campaign record for the bulk SMS campaign that you sent out. You can see that for each SMS campaign, a new campaign is created in the campaigns module. And you can look back at the template that is used. Most of these have been done without a template, but you can see here, this one did employ a template. And then the other thing you'll want to use to figure out where it was is the date and time. If you know roughly the time when that campaign was sent out, you'll be able to identify which one to use. Once you have found the right campaign, you'll copy the campaign name. Then you'll go to leads and you can put it in like this. And that will give you the leads that did receive that existing campaign message. So what you might want to do then is you could save that as a filter. And then by using this filter, you'd know that you don't want to send the exact same message to these people, but instead you could send a different message. It, it is a little bit hard to then do the inverse of that, because basically probably what you'd want to do is find people who didn't get that campaign. You can't do it exactly by using the campaign filter, but what you can do is you can apply a tag so we could do something like received Xmas SMS campaign. Oops, I spelled it wrong, but you get the idea. And then we can do it again. Anyway, we've got that tag added. And then what you could do then is you could make a new view. So you could do a custom view and you could make the criteria tag isn't and then that one and then you would have all of the people who hadn't received that SMS campaign and then from there you can use the send bulk smooth message button as usual. Hope this helps.